Backsliding is a gradual thing. It's not one day. It's not automatic. It's a gradual thing. Back backsliding is a process. People don't backslide at once. Now, when we talk about the story of Samson, I, only, I notice that every, what people talk about is that they shave his head. Once you talk about Samson, say, ah, they shave his head. Samson, ah, Delilah shave his head. Samson, ah, we know now the one that kept his head on the lap of Delilah, he shaved his head. So that is all we talk about Samson, not knowing that there were three things the Bible talks about Samson. Samson was a Nazarene. And the Bible says Nazarene is not allowed to do three things. Number one, a Nazarene is not allowed to touch strong drink. Number two, a Nazarene is not allowed to touch a deadly thing, an unclean thing. What the Bible calls unclean is what is dead, an animal that is dead. Number three, a Nazarene's hair should not be shaven. They keep their hair long. They shouldn't touch the hair. So we always talk about the hair being shaven, the hair taken off. That was the last thing that was done to him. The first one was strong drink. Samson always goes to parties and they serve him strong drink. That lion that he killed, he got honey from it. After the lion had dead. So what was that again? Touching a dead... Are you, are you seeing the faces? It's when his hair was not taken off. That's the one that most of us remember. Meaning, backsliding is in phases. It's in process. You love the Lord so much. You love God so much. Satan now introduces a friend. The friend enters your life, begin to take your time from church, then Satan now introduce a very powerful phone. Powerful handset that has all the features. Camera, video, browsing. Then that one again now takes another love you have for God. Are you following me? Satan gradually, gradually, you that will pray for five hours before, is now three, three, two, two, one. One. Ten minutes, ten minutes, morning devotion. Morning devotion, no need to pray again. Jesus has prayed all the prayer for you. So gradually you begin to... So backsliding is a gradual thing. But the Bible says there's going to be a falling away. When the Holy Ghost comes upon a person, you know. When the Spirit of God comes on you, he announces his presence with the evidence of speaking in tongues. The Holy Ghost announces his presence, but the Holy Ghost does not announce his departure. When the Holy Ghost is leaving, he doesn't tell you I'm leaving. It just goes quietly. Judges chapter 16, verse 20. Samson said, I will shake myself as at other times as before. And he wished not that the spirit has departed. In other words, Samson was not even aware. The Bible says, said, I would, he wished not that the spirit has departed. Meaning, the spirit had left Samson. Samson was still shaking. He said, I will shake myself like other times. Meaning, when the Holy Ghost comes, the spirit, if you see Samson, anytime Samson is about to do anything major, the Bible will say, and the spirit came mightily upon him. Anytime Samson wants to do something, tear down the lion, carry the job off and ask, the Bible says, and the Spirit came mightily upon him. But this time, Delilah said, the Philistine be upon you, Samson. Samson laughed, I will shake myself. Shaky, shaky Samson. I will shake myself. Like other time, the Bible said, this time he was not aware that the Spirit, he wished not that the Lord had departed from Meaning that there are many of who are still shaking. You can still be shaking. Hi. Inside of him was what empowered that initial shaking. So, and he was still shaking. So, which spirit now? If the spirit of God on him makes him shake, now he's still shaking. And the spirit has left him. So, what, what do you call that shaking?